So my neighbor Scott sent me pictures of a, a bus. It's a really old bus. It used to be owned by the McLarens. And uh, they lived in it. Part of the family lived in that bus. I'm just going to dart in here. It's only probably half a kilometer in and uh, going to check it out. See lots of rabbit tracks. Rabbit and I think there's a fox following it. I'm just going to follow the game trail. If you're looking for an old road, usually the animals know where it is. They've been on it for so many years as it grows in. They, they just figure it out. They keep using it. Okay, the road ends here. I'm going to go down the, across the creek. The creek's flowing pretty fast under the ice. Oh, look, there's the bus. These are wild hops. Back, uh, I don't know, probably a hundred years ago, there was a, a little village in here, a Finn village. So they're all over in here. Oh, look at that old gem, eh? Now Scott sent me some pictures and I, I tried to identify it. I think it's 1940-ish. <laughs> I wonder what the sign is in there. Oh, somebody repair. Lube, lube and repair. wonder who this, whose sign that was. Hard to read. I wonder if the other half of that sign is around. and read who it is. Oh, parking. So, yeah, the McLarens used to have this, and it was up near the main road on their farm. I guess someone hauled it down for uh, hunting and whatever, partying purposes. I suppose you could make yourself at home here for a night or two if you had to. I don't see any critters. A little barbecue grill down there. Look at that. It's probably been here 40 or 50 years or more. Whoa, there's a party bus. Split pack window. Got some chrome on her, look at that, eh? Chrome bumper. Fitz John. Isn't that cool? Back up and get a shot of the whole thing here. City liner. Wow. I don't know, you think she'll start? Should I bring a battery in here and give this thing a try? Wonder what it had in it for a motor. The Fitz John special. Oh, the old squirrel's been sitting on the dashboard. Oh, look at that. Holy jumping. It was party time. Oh, a little 
little stove. Put that back in case someone's living in it. All right, well, I better get out of here. Weather's turning ugly. Got lots more junk on the ground around here. So I guess if you're sad about the shack you're living in, you, it could be worse. Could be living in one of these. But I bet you those guys were pretty happy. They're, everybody just left them alone. They did their own thing. Uh, apparently they went out west or uh, up to the other end of the province and did all right for themselves after this. But I call this a starter home. You can start or you can have it.